starting on here live, and unfortunately Del Petros cannot be here for some technical difficulties, but I will do the best for carrying it to you solo commentary style. But we still have an epic show here tonight, where our main event will be the Shumino Rachna Insanity going 1v2 against the Dirty Boys in our handicap match later on tonight. But right now, we are going to have our opening contest. The brother man with the master plan, Cameron Jackson, will be in one-on-one -on -one action. As you can see, our UW fan base here live. TJ Sakara will be at ringside supporting his fellow CJE brethren. And last week, it was announced that CJE, the team of Cameron Jackson and TJ Sakara, will be going against the Dirty Boys in three weeks time at Ultimate Redemption. But tonight, Cameron Jackson cannot be focused on the Dirty Boys. In the UW Universe, speaking their mind, CJE becoming the hottest trend in backyard wrestling. And here comes Cameron Jackson's adversary for the evening, Chris Antius. And there he is, and it looks like Chris Antius bringing an equalizer. Some of the fans not sharing the same opinion for Chris Antius as Cameron Jackson. The level of respect is not quite the same. Chris Antius has a lot to prove, and this could be a big match for Chris Antius here tonight. Last week, he defeated Insanity via countout. Insanity was looking for whips. Chris Antius came up with the victory, and although it was controversial, it was still a W on his column, and he made an open challenge in the back, and the man that answered the open challenge was one half of Mind Game Mayhem, Fat Jack, and whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Our general, here comes our general manager, Mikey Butendaro, coming to fork his opinion. What? <laughs> no disqualification? Well, fun. Hey, well, that's a way to kick DJ, off the show. You're still a bum. I don't care. Mikey Boondaro, our general manager, making this a no disqualification match. Clearly there is some level of disdain that our general manager has for Cameron Jackson. This has been going on since Cameron Jackson was the world champion. Putting Jackson in a ladder match against Rick Rios. And there's the bell and Andy is taking advantage. Chris Andy is taking advantage of this no disqualification stipulation. And it looks like already Cameron Jackson needing a breather after getting mauled with that baseball bat. Chris Antius going to look to take advantage. This is Chris Antius' moment. If he can get a win on Cameron Jackson, it'll put Chris Antius as one of the elites and here in UWE with that German. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a nice German suplex and a leg drop right to the solar plexus of Cameron Jackson. Chris Antius just trading bombs. The forearm to the cranium. And now Chris Anius. Not your catches catch can wrestler. He is a powerhouse. He is a mauler. His last name represents the Greek god of wrestling. And look at this. Now TJ Sakara coming in. Remember, no disqualifications. Perhaps Mikey Boutendale's stipulation might backfire. On his original intentions, and what a kick right there, right to the chin of Chris Anius. And wait a minute, look at this. Read the trash can. Jackson calling out instructions, telling Sakara to get the toys. We're gonna take a trip, Chris. We're gonna take a trip. Uh, you're damn right. Chris Anius is getting initiated here into the mainstream of talent in the UWE. 
Well, hurry up. We don't have a lot of time. All right. Chris Anderson. Just watching on. If I was Chris Anderson right now, I'd try to attack Cameron Jackson, but. Wait a minute. Oh, what? what the hell? He's got some. He's got some rope and wait a minute now Anius now attacking I guess he's picking the right moment and look at this Chris Anius is hog tying Cameron Jackson like a goddamn piece of cattle Cameron reached the Racking him up Definitely paying homage to the the dirty boys if you might say And there's the cover cover Oh Jackson kicking out and wait a minute, if you look over by the referee, Fat Jack is also here at ringside. I guess Fat Jack looking to uh, watch his opponent with the best seat in the house. Fat Jack and Chris Anius will collide at Ultimate Redemption. Our most star-studded event. The biggest entertainment extravaganza in backyard wrestling only three weeks away. And Chris Anius locking eyes with his adversary for that event right there. But he's got to stay focused on Cameron Jackson as he does right there. What a spear breaking and snapping Jackson in half. Am I getting in the way or something? And now look at this. Chris Anius has that foreign object baseball bat in hand. And look at the swing for the fences. Definitely using you as an example. Look at that, just whipping him like a government mule. Chris Anius, look at him, just locking eyes with Fat Jack. Look at the psychological games that Chris Anius is playing here. Locking eyes with Fat Jack, letting Fat Jack know that this is going to be you in three weeks' time. Chris Anius sending a statement, sending a message to his opponent at Cameron Jackson's expense. And now uh, looking once again to tie up Jackson, and now Sakara is not going to have that. <laughs> Referee trying to keep order in this match, despite it being a no disqualification bout. Jackson now back up to a vertical base, and now come back in, and now what a nice clothesline there. Very unique clothesline, and now Jackson has Antius tied up. Cameron Jackson definitely plotting, has something in mind. Chris Antius. Um, something's going to happen here. Something's got to happen here. Look at this. Sakara perhaps tying up Chris Antius. And it looks like this looks familiar. And wait a minute. Fat Jack now. Fat Jack has tied up Antius like a cattle in the roll tie connects. Feel like I'm all the way south in Alabama. Let's go, Cam! Hog tying up Chris Anius and the roll tie connects. And it looks like Jackson may be setting up for the end. Wait a minute, Chris Anius counters a big time spine buster. Big time spine buster by Anius, and it's over. Chris Anius with an upset. Chris Anius just defeated Cameron Jackson. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong, wait, wait. Wow! I did what I had to that do. is an upset. Chris Anius making a statement here. Whoa! Look out! Fat Jack with a slap to the face! Man, it's gonna be a collision. And look at this. Chris Anius. His fucking cut. Are you kidding me? Chris Anius, ladies and gentlemen, got a huge upset on Cameron Jackson, but it seems the only thing he cares about is the fact that he is 2-0 right now, defeating Insanity and Cameron Jackson. Well, right now, we have the Freak Show lips. You know, you put... <laughs> you put every breed of bird in a cage. So many colors and so many patterns. And yet the raven, that's the one that stands out most. <laughs> Insanity, you will enter my den. As I have entered yours at a road to destruction. As you can see, you have left me scarred and deformed. But truth be told, I like it that way. <laughs> A beautiful landscape, 
everything is so peaceful and bright and shivering, but at ultimate redemption, it won't be like that for you, Insanity, because you will join my freak show. And truth be told, little death laid out. Oh, brother Cam, and now it's gonna lay you out for good. You know what I want? You wanna know? You wanna know? You wanna know? You wanna know why? Because lips will rock your world. Lips most certainly the ultimate evil in the UWE. But folks, right now. Cameron Jackson back out here, and look at this. There's been major discussions over Twitter that Cameron Jackson was going to host the Cameron Jackson concert, and it looks like that he is a man of his word. Oh, this is going to be groundbreaking, ladies and gentlemen. First ever backyard wrestling musical. Hosted by CJ. I gotta sit down for this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. This thing on? Can you hear him? Hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Ding ding. I hear. Here. Welcome. Check check. To CJE, that is Cameron Jackson Entertainment, your number one stop in entertainment for your backyard wrestling fix. I am your founder, chairman, and CEO, the brother man with the master plan, Brother Cameron. Today we're all here together in a musical experience that I have found for my great friends, the Dirty Boys. Now, when great friends. I think about music, I think to see, because these Dirty Boys, they've been going from state to state to state, to state, in every state, they've been wanted, wanted, dead or alive. But then today, I was like, I want to see if the Dirty Boys can really walk this way and talk this way. So we'll see. But Cameron Jackson isn't going to sing a song. No, 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 no. I'm so lucky I don't know how to sing. My big cousin. What? Grammy Award winning performer. Whoa. <laughs> From Sweet Yellow Corn, Mississippi. Michael Jackson. Hit the song. What? Uh oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Michael Jackson? But look at this. All right, y'all feel that there? How y'all liking that? This sounds awfully familiar. Stand up, Cameron. Yeah, stand on the oh, yeah, stand up. <laughs> Look at those instruments. It's the redneck comedy song. Hey! Dirty the Chico was drinking beer. It was very clear. I tried to find out whether he was straight or queer. <laughs> but he drank to the last sip of it. This is great. He tried to drink, yeah. And he drank to the last sip of it. Hey! They told me his name was Dirty Dead. He tried to rave. I tried to find him, but he locked inside his cave. But that truck is dirty as hell. It's a dirty truck. All right, check this out. People always told me, be careful what you do. And don't run around drinking all that beer. <laughs> my mama always told me, if I drink Budweiser, I'll be drunk for the rest of the year. Hey, Budweiser is not your friend. <laughs> You'll drink it all. This is incredible. Lean, not that drunk. This is awesome. Let's do it. 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 Let's do it.
is here to crash the party. And we, oh, come on! This is a good concert! Oh, what a take down there! The Dirty Boys had enough. This is. Come on! Dirty Boys gotta ruin the fun. Look out. Oh, what a kick right to the ribs. Well, this is what it's gonna be like at Ultimate Redemption. There's not gonna be any singing, despite how good it was. Very interesting move there by TJ Sakara, but this is ridiculous. I wanted to see the rest of this concert. What an elbow there by Sakara now. And whoa, 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 this is kind of risky here. Wait a minute, camera all the way up. And look out, oh my god! That is a 15 foot drop in the boot riser. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh my god, the dirty boys just laying out the CJE here. And this is not the last time we're going to be seeing the Dirty Boys, but oh my god, what a stunner and a boot riser! Night, night. Stunner! Stunner! My god. What a despicable sight. What an absolute disgust. Unbelievable. But nonetheless, what an... Amazing concert that was by the CJE. But folks, moving on ahead, because in three weeks' time, the biggest entertainment extravaganza in all of Backyard Wrestling, Ultimate Redemption 4. We've had three Ultimate Redemptions before, unfortunately not taking place on YouTube. However, you are for our greatest Ultimate Redemption of all time. We'll be here, live, on UWHD only on UWHD here on our YouTube channel as we prepare now for our main event contest. And as you can see, the banjo strums once again because now we are about to see for the second time this evening, Dirty the Chico and Dirty Dave. They just assaulted Cameron Jackson and TJ Sakara after that that's that brutal attack. I'm sorry, man. They called me They just caught me off guard there. Well, moving on ahead, we just saw the CJE concert. The Dirty Boys found it quite offensive and did something about it. Incapacitating and smashed the CJE up. Like Paul Stanley smashes his guitar at the end of a concert. But here comes the masked man. Here comes Insanity. And Insanity's got quite a situation of his own as well. Because his opponent at Ultimate Redemption is the most evil, sinister superstar in the UWE. Because at Ultimate Redemption, it will be Insanity versus Lips. But right now, Insanity goes one on two in a handicap match against both members of the Dirty Boys. Insanity walking around the ring, perhaps trying to play mind games. Yeah! And that's going to be really exciting to see at Ultimate Redemption because you got two masters of the mind game. You have Insanity and Lips. But right now, Insanity going to try to work on the Dirty Boys. <laughs> Referee trying to follow him around, trying to get him in the ring. This man is out of his damn mind. And now look at this, Insanity! Brad's trying to lure one of the Dirty Boys, and Dirty Dave got hit in the post, and the referee going to have the bell ring just now. Insanity looking for something. This man thinks of no conscience. He has no conscience. He has no alternative thought. He acts on impulse. And now the Chico going to start with the elbow. Man, what an amazing episode of Lockdown. I wish my buddy Dale Peppers could be here. Look at this. Insanity now. Locking him up. And oh, what a slap there right to the face. Insanity and... Not only Insanity, but the Dirty Boys. These are three of the larger men in UWE. We have known to be... Uh, Having some big bulls around here. We just had Chris Andrews and Fat Jack earlier. Let's go. Get up. And now look at Insanity. Insanity.
stalking. He's got the Chica by the throat. But wait a minute, the Chica blocks. Look at the power of Dirty the Chico. Taking down the masked man. Not an easy thing to do. Not something that many people could say that they have done. The Chico now. Look at that hard kick right to the back. The soul on the pine. And an elbow by Dirty the Chico. The Dirty Boy's in control. And now look at this, Insanity once again trying to get the Chica by the throat. Proud's looking to set him up for that spine buster and he does. Couldn't get him all the way up, but she, the Dirty the Chico to his own credit is a large man. And the cover here, you notice how Insanity was paying close attention to Dirty Dave, making sure Dave doesn't break up the count. Insanity comes across in a big time close line by Dirty the Chico. The Chico definitely stepping up the ladder. One of the most recognized superstars in underground wrestling entertainment. And now look at this. Big time. Surfboard face crusher. This is my bad. Surfboard face crusher there. Excuse me. Dirty Dave gets the tag. The outspoken one of the Dirty Boys. And now look at this. Dirty Dave. Perhaps now look at this. Sharing with his brother the elbow drop. Just like the one we've seen before. And oh, look at that insanity. Sneaking up with the one right to the... Something a little below the waistline. Referee deciding to let it go. This match is not going to end with a disqualification. And now look at this. Dave able to push the big man off his gut. And that is quite a gut. That is a beer belly. Dirty Dave. Kicking Insanity right in the ribs. Slapping him around. Look at this now. These dirty tactics by one half of the dirty boys, if you will. Hey, you. You use your daughter to get a full tank of gas. You're damn right I did. I would have done the same thing. That's what they're for. Yeah. Dirty boys making contact with some of the UW universe. Insanity going to do something about it. And Dirty Dave counters. He's got the arm wrenched, pulls him around, and oh, got him with a kick right to the gut, but it had little effect on Insanity. It's like kicking a brick wall, and oh, the stutter by Dirty Dave. A maneuver picked up by both members of the Dirty Boys. And this could be all. It's over. There you go, Dave. The Dirty Boys picking up the win on the big man. Wait a minute. You drink it all until you reach the end. Yeah, let's go, Dirty. Yeah. Looking up in our sky box here. Right near the commentary table by us. The Dirty Boys pick up the win here. Wow. Two upsets tonight. That is all we have for you here at UW Lockdown. We will see you next week. Two upsets here tonight. Chris Adius defeating Cameron Jackson and the Dirty Boys victorious. What a night it's been for the Dirty Boys. Perhaps they might have the same luck at Ultimate Redemption.